Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's see how to create this uh, text leather patch on another leather patch in Substance Painter. So this is a, a preview sphere which I have opened from open sample section and then choose this file here. It has got all the base layers, uh, all the materials here. I'm going to delete all of them and I'll start from zero. So uh, creating materials is not at all important in this particular uh, video. So I'm going to choose the smart materials here and then just type leather okay and uh, we have a few leather uh, options i'm going to choose uh, uh, one of them as the base layer okay this is uh, the base layer or maybe i can take anything more uh, subtle okay this looks uh, very neat and elegant and uh, it has got that nice little character uh, in the leather so i'll be taking another layer which is going to be the the stitches layer Okay, so uh, there are two groups here uh, and I just wanted to create a mask uh, on the top layer so that I get that cut out. So I'll open up this uh, layers and uh, I'll create one layer in it. Uh, I'll be doing that by just clicking this, uh, sorry, clicking this button which is add fill layer. So I can put that layer uh, below and uh, that's not really important. And uh, I'm going to uh, switch off all of the material properties and then I'll be uh, bringing up the text mask which I've I have to put on top of it so i've dragged that image uh, from the browser and uh, when i dragged it here i got this uh, window and i need to choose uh, the texture from this one uh, because i'm going to use this as a texture and i'm going to import into the current project and uh, once that is done you could see the uh, alpha mask has been imported here so i'll go to the fill here and then in the fill i'm going to drop this into the base color so once i've dropped this into the base color i'll be saying that i don't want this to be repeated and I'll just go to uh, 2D and 3D mode and then scale this text and then put it here, okay? So this is a black and white uh, image uh, which I'm going to use it for my uh, example. But uh, I could able to see the background is uh, also need to be black. So I'm adding a fill layer which is uh, going to be the black color. And this layer will be uh, sitting on top of the black layer so that I could see the total object is right now. Uh, black and white okay now i'm going to create an anchor point here so choose anchor point and name this as text mask okay this mask this anchor point is what i'm going to use and the layer which i put here becomes uh, invisible uh, because i'm going to put this uh, layers back on so that the layer is no more visible here and uh, this uh, anchor point is what i'm going to use it uh, with all other textures coming forward so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this uh, group and add a layer mask okay so i can use any of the mask here and then in that i'm going to add a fill and then choose the anchor point here which basically cuts out that text but i, I want this text to be uh, more embossing so i'm going to select uh, the color information and see all the layers here and uh, bring up the height information of that layer so that this text will uh, you know come up now this looks uh, okay at this point of time now the point is how is that i'm going to add that stitches and uh, more details what we have on top of it uh, so firstly i want to create that nice uh, um, pull in the center uh, for that i'm going to create a new solid layer uh, and i need to do that uh, on top of this okay so i'm going to take a new fill layer which is sitting on the top and i'm not going to use any of this material properties except the height and uh, i'm going to bring that height down uh, let me put that way and then um, that actually uh, brings up the whole information going in the negative side now i'm going to add a mask here okay and in the mask i'm going to bring the fill and in the fill i'm going to bring the anchor point okay that looks good um, now what i'm going to do is i'm going to choose a filter called blur okay and uh, you should be able to see that is uh, sort of blurring out uh, but uh, i need to uh, i could see the the text is uh, going nicely inside but i don't want this to happen on the outside of the text now this is where i'm going to use a mask on top of it for that i'm going to bring up a fill layer okay and the uh, fill layer will have our anchor point text mask and i'm going to multiply this okay i should be able to see that nice uh, uh, pull inside the center okay this looks good at this point now how is that i'm going to add uh, the stitches okay so i'm going to add, rely on two more layers on top of it so firstly i want to uh, create a new solid layer okay 
and uh, i don't want to touch any attributes like uh, i mean let me just put color uh, intact and then see how this is going to work so i'm going to add a mask here so i've got a mask here now i'm going to take uh, different fill layers so first a fill layer is going to be our anchor point so i'm going to use this anchor point a lot now uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a generator called uh, auto stitcher now auto stitcher is working for the overall body based on uh, the option called uv mask i can choose for the curvature or i can choose for custom input okay but when i take the custom input the problem is uh, I need to pick that custom input here. So I'm going to click on the custom input and then choose the anchor point and then choose the text here. Now you should be able to see the stitches are coming over the text here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, change the path position. Path position so that I get the stitches around the text like that. And then I'm going to control the width of the stitches and then I'm going to control the length of the stitches here uh, like that. So I've got the stitches here, but the problem is uh, how is that uh, I'm going to remove stitches which is on top of this and uh, it's again simple if i just check the alpha this is what i have got so i'm going to take uh, another fill layer and then choose our anchor point and then just multiply that and you get it correct now you should be able to see the stitches are rightly placed here but make sure that your height is uh, basically a, a normal one so that you could get it correct and also you can go to the height map and increase the stitching bump value higher so that it, it generally pops out now I'm going to uh, select this layer and I'm going to duplicate this layer. Okay. So duplicate the layer. I've got two sets of layers and I'm going to select this layer and then uh, remove the color option and then negative uh, uh, a bump value has to be added. Now this looks good. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a filter here and uh, this filter now will generally blur out things and then that gives slight uh, pull where we have the stitches uh, so that it looks like a uh, uh, it's pulled because of the stitches there. To add uh, more uh, icing on the cake, uh, you can generally add that slight folds. I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new fill layer uh, on top of it. Let me see the alpha of it. You should be able to see that uh, detail. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this fill layer and uh, add uh, a procedural texture, something uh, like this. Okay. And then I'm going to repeat it so that I get a lot of lines there. Okay. And uh, I can uh, explore the contrast and other attributes and then choose uh, this one uh, to multiply. Then you get this details now. But, uh, but one thing I should do here is I need to make it look more prominent. So I'm going to add a levels section and then increase that more prominent and then you get this details. And then when I apply, you get that nice uh, folds, uh, I mean variations in the text. You should be able to see that. Okay. So let's try adding more textures to it. Uh, it's very customizable, just very simple thing. I'm going to add a new uh, fill layer here. Okay. And uh, that brings up the fill layer. You can choose any of this uh, procedural textures you have got with you. So I'm just dropping that into my base color like that. And then you get that uh, texture. Let me repeat this to five and see how you got this uh, placement. The stitches are lost because of the auto stitcher uh, tool okay so that is actually working on some thickness but i could see a very beautiful uh, pattern achieved uh, which is basically suitable for a lot of apparels and all um let me just uh, put it to one or maybe two and uh, you can start exploring the blending modes of this let me choose the normal and then uh, there's a i mean you can put as many as layers you want here okay and uh, they work accordingly just drop it there Okay, so you have uh, endless possibilities here and see how uh, you can use it in on your assets. Guys, I've made a lot of uh, videos on Substance Painter and I'll be sharing the playlist in the comment section and also in the description. I request you to uh, subscribe the channel and uh, like the video.